What's up YouTube? Welcome back. My name's Tony. Thought I'd make a quick little video to show you guys how to hook up analog gear to your DAW. I was just about to start checking out this uh, Golden Age project unit, so I figure, hey, we'll use this for the example. So initially setting it up is pretty quick and straightforward. The first thing you'll need is an interface that has more than just two inputs and outputs. If you only have a two in, two out interface, then chances are your two outputs are going to be the ones powering your speakers. So if you're hooking up something like a compressor that you want to use as an insert in your DAW, you'll need an additional input and output. However, if you're just hooking up a preamp that you'll be recording into and want to send the output from that into your DAW, all you need is one available input. Physically hooking up the gear is a pretty easy thing to do. You're going to attach the output of your interface into the input of your hardware unit. Ideally, using a balanced quarter inch cable. Balanced quarter inch cables are also known as a TRS cable because of the three different connection points on the tip. TRS stands for tip, ring, and sleeve. Not to be confused with a regular instrument cable which would only have the tip and the sleeve. Then, using another balanced quarter inch cable, you're gonna attach the output of your device into a line input on your interface. Now, I've already run my TRS cables into the back of my Motu 828X interface. I would have showed video of myself doing that, but between the patch bay and all the other hardware I have connected back there, it's a real mess. So I've got this line plugged into my interface output, and that therefore is gonna to go to my device's input. And then this one that I've marked with tape is plugged into my interface's input and is gonna be attached to my hardware unit's output. So, it's just that simple to physically hook up your hardware. Even easier if you're hooking up a preamp, because then you just need to attach the output from your preamp into the input of your DAW. But now that we've got both the outputs and inputs of this unit hooked up, I'll show you how, in Reaper, you can use it as a plug-in in your DAW. I'm going to try this thing out on the snare drum. So we're gonna to go to our snare track, and we're gonna to go to our Reaper native plugins, which will be filed under Cocos. Find reinsert. So this plugin routes your audio signal through the outputs and inputs of your interface. And it also does some delay compensation so that the round trip from your interface through the equipment and back doesn't cause any latency. So I've plugged this compressor in through output three and back into input three. So we're gonna set the hardware sense to output three. Now I know I've got these labeled all weird because I just haven't gone through and changed them. And we're gonna have the hardware return set to input three. I've got the box for automatic device latency. That just means that Reaper communicates with your interface and it's set latency and compensates for that before anything else. After that, I hit this ping detect button for additional delay compensation. That just sends a little audio blip through your signal path and adds a few samples of delay compensation to really make sure that there's no latency happening. So for this route, we've got 81 samples of additional delay compensation. So once you've got all that taken care of, we've got signal. So let's see here. So, there you have it. Hooking up hardware and using it in your DAW is a pretty simple thing. In summary, you attach your interface output to your hardware's input, your hardware's output to your interface's input, find reinsert, set your inputs and outputs, set your additional delay compensation, and you're off to the races. Every DAW I've ever worked in has their equivalent of reinsert. I know Pro Tools is just called insert, and I can't speak for any of the other DAWs as I'm not too experienced in them, but I'm sure they've got one. One thing I can say about Pro Tools insert plugin though, they require you to use your interface's input and output that are on the same number. So if you're going out through number three, you have to go back in through number three. Reaper gives you some flexibility to go out through any numbered output and back in to any other numbered input. But I usually still keep it on the same output and input numbers just so things are simpler for me. Well guys, I hope this video has been helpful for you. If you like what you saw, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, Leave me a whole bunch of comments down below if you have any questions. And happy tracking. We'll see you guys next time.